Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a Elementor gallery here. We've got a little zoom and contain effect. When you hover over your thumbnails here, they're going to zoom in and stay within the footprint of the actual image itself. Nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. Got to do a little bit of coding for this today. Don't let that put you off. Any coding I do, I'll put down below the video. We've just done this with the Divi theme and somebody asked if we could do it with the Elementor theme too. Yeah, sure can, really easy. So I'm gonna start a new page and we'll start from scratch. And I'm gonna use Elementor full width template there. And yeah, let's call it Zoom Gallery or something. And I wanna edit with Elementor. Okay, great, if we go down here, these are pro modules here. I'm using the free version today, but there's a basic gallery module in the free gallery under the general. There it is right there. I'm gonna drag it across. Let's add our images now. And I think I've got eight images there. I just clicked on the first one, hit my shift key, clicked on the last one it selected all in between there and you can drag these move them around you can add captions and things like that I'm going to leave mine just like this and insert them into my gallery okay not really happy with the look of that I'm going to make my thumbnails a little bit bigger here that's a bit better and I want a bit of a gap in between them so I'm going to go to my style, spacing, I'm going to set to custom. And that'll work nicely for me. I guess I could take it up a little bit more. Great, so we've got our basic gallery here. Let's publish this page. Okay, now if you've got the pro version of Elementor, you can go over to your advanced and you can do your custom CSS in the little box down the bottom. I'm using the free version today, so we need to go to our customizer. To get to your customizer, go down to your dashboard, go down to appearance, and then customize. And that will bring you to this page right here. I'm going to refresh this page, and I'm going to set the gallery page we just created as our new home page. And to do that, just above the home page settings, And it was called Zoom Gallery. There we go. Okay, so there's our new little gallery. Let's go back. And in the additional CSS panel, this is where we want to write our code. I'm going to delete what I've got written there. It's always a good idea to give your code a heading. It makes it easier to find. And if anybody edits the site behind you, it's a courtesy as well. And to put a heading in there, it's forward slash star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between the stars will not be read as code. So you can give it titles and notes and what have you up there. Great. Well, the first thing I want to do is make this image grow to twice the size when I hover on it. I'm using Google Chrome here today with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. Okay, and as I've got other galleries on this site, I'm actually going to give this a CSS class name of its own, so we're just targeting this gallery. So let's go back to our gallery here, over in the Advanced tab at the top, in the Layout, hit the chevron to drop it down. You'll find CSS IDs and CSS classes. I'm going to call mine Gal, ZM for Zoom. Call yours what you want, it wants to be unique and it wants to make sense to you. So we've given it that class name, let's copy that. And we'll update this page. We want to go back. And we'll update this page as well, so we've got the most current saved version. So let's publish. And update the page. Okay, well now let's inspect one of our images here. I'm going to right click and hit inspect to get the Chrome inspector up. 
And as long as we got elements selected on one side, you'll have HTML and style selected on the other side, you'll have CSS. And there's the image that it's selected for us there. If we roll up just a little bit here, there's the class we gave it, Gal Zoom, right there. So let's put our class name in here. It's a class name, so it has a dot or a period in front of it. Then the class name we copied. And we want to affect the image IMG down here that we've got. So I'm going to say IMG. But I only want it to affect it on hover. So right after the G of IMG there, no gap. I'm going to put a colon and the word hover. We've just created a hover state now that we can affect separately from when the mouse is not on it. So when we put our mouse on it, I want it to grow to twice the size. So I'm going to say transform, colon, scale. Oops, around brackets. You can comma separate width and height if you want to and have separate values, but I want mine to remain the same aspect ratios. So I'm just going to put a two in there so it will grow to twice the size. And let's put a semicolon on the end there. As you can see, when I roll over now, it's growing to twice the size. But it's spilling out over the other thumbnails, and I really don't want that. So we need to contain it within one of the thumbnails itself. So if I roll up just a little bit, you can see things highlighting as I roll up. Now we could use gallery item, or we could use gallery icon. They're both the right shape. I'm going to use gallery icon and contain it within that shape there. If I roll off of it, you can see it highlighting this first thumbnail. So I'm going to double click on this, and grab the first one there, gallery icon. Wherever you click on a class and there's more than one there, where there's a gap, the second one is the new class. So I want that first class. I'm going to drop down. Again, it's a class, so it has a dot or a period in front of it class name. Open and close some curly brackets. And I want to tell it to hide the overflow. So I'm going to say overflow. Colon hidden. And like I mentioned earlier, this code will be down below if anybody just wants to copy it and paste it rather than learning how it's done. Okay, now when I roll over, it's still doing it. It's growing by twice the amount there. But it's containing it within the footprint. Of the actual image itself which is great okay but it's happening absolutely instantly and I want to slow it down so you're actually seeing the zoom so I'm going to use a bit of transition duration for that and I need to put it in our gal zoom but not on a hover so I'm going to copy this whole thing and create a new class Control C drop down paste it I'm going to take the colon and the hover away there so we just got our class name of gal zoom and the image and transform scale I'm going to say transition duration and give it about a second point two I think transition and it's prompted us down below you can just click on that if you want I'm going to put a colon in and then the time I'm going to say 1.2s for 1.2 seconds which is pretty slow obviously you want to make yours how you want yours but as you can see, that's zooming in nice and slowly for us. And that should be it. Let's get rid of our inspector now. We'll publish our changes. And let's go back to the gallery here. I'm going to hit the eyeball to preview the changes. There's our little gallery. And when we hover over, it's zooming in and containing within the footprint of the actual image itself. Of course, when you click on it, it's going to pop out into a light box also. And you can roll from one to the other. Close it down. Like I say, that's a nice little thing to have on your website. People are mousing around. That's going to get their attention pretty quickly, which is what you want. And as I mentioned earlier, the CSS code will be down below the video. You're welcome to copy it. Use it how you wish. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.